this is a beginner's yoga class for um, back aches and mild back sprains. Um, just before we start, please don't um, take any stretches that aren't comfortable for you or that perhaps um, cause you pain. So an ache is good, a bit of a stretch is good, but anything that kind of then borderlines into pain, don't do that, stop before it gets to that point. Um, discomfort is okay, but pain is not. Um, so we're gonna take some um, postures here that hopefully stretch out all parts of the back um, and take away some of those aches and pains that you might be feeling. So we're gonna get started on our hands and knees in a tabletop position. And we'll start with some cat cows. <clears throat> so join me in the center of the mat. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees hip width apart, underneath your hips. And as you inhale, you're gonna dip the belly button closer to the ground, press through the arms, lift the chest, neck nice and long. And as you exhale, you're gonna round through the back, really pressing through every finger, the tops of the feet, almost lifting your knees off the ground and arching the shoulders, really creating space in the shoulder blades. Inhale and you dip the belly. Exhale to round. So take a few of these at your own pace, with that own natural rhythm of your breath. Breathing in and breathing out, just bringing your attention and mindfulness to your breath. And take one more. And as you exhale, take a flat back, make sure the hips are nice and even, the back is flat, spine is nice and long. Take an inhale, pressing through the right hand, and then lift the left hand up towards the sky, take a stretch, and we're gonna feed the hand between the knee and the right arm and bring the hand to the floor. Take the right hand a little wide and a bit further forward, and if you'd like a slightly deeper stretch, take the right leg long. The arm should be at shoulder height here. Breathing in. And with your next inhale, bring the knee back to the ground a bit, the legs extended, bring the hand back in front of you and unravel. Come back to a flat back, get your hips nice and even, and then take an inhale, press through the left hand, raise the right arm to the sky, take a twist and feed the right arm through the gap of the left knee and the left arm. Again, take the left hand a little to the side and then a little forward. And if you want a slightly deeper stretch, extend that left leg back, pressing into the toes of the left foot. The right arm is at shoulder level. Breathing here. Observe how the stretch feels, if it intensifies with each inhale. And with your next inhale, bring the hand back, come bring the knee down, and then unravel, come back to a flat back position. Pivot on the left knee and turn the left foot to the side. We're gonna extend the right leg and come, come onto the sole of the foot on the right and take the right arm up towards the sky. This is gate pose. Gaze is straight forward or up towards your right hand. Take an inhale and then come back to centre, come back to a flat back on your hands and knees and then we'll do the same on the other side. So we start by pivoting on the right knee to turn that leg behind us and then come onto the sole of the left foot with the left hand extending up towards the sky, gazing up to your left fingers and left thumb. Inhale, 
inhale and then come back to center all hands and knees on the ground tuck the toes lift the knees and just hover slightly just an inch or half an inch just to start waking up the stomach the core and then push the sit bones back towards your heels the knees are still hovering and then once you're there lift the hips up and find a downward facing dog the feet don't need to climb flat to the ground the heels rather the heels can be lifted take a bit of movement first of all the hamstrings might be a bit tight so take the dog for a walk bend both of the legs maybe try bending one leg and straightening the other try looking underneath your armpits And then slowly tippy toe your way to the front of the mat. Once you get there, hang over your feet, grab opposite elbows with each hand, and let the head hang heavy. Allow gravity to take the weight of the head. Keep a bend in the knees if you want to. That's absolutely fine. And just allow gravity to take hold of everything and let the spine open up each of the vertebrae just to create a bit of space and find a bit of length in the spine. Clasp the hands together behind you and try and squeeze the palms of the hands if you can. If that's difficult, then keep a, a gap in the hands so that the fingers are grasping nice and long. And just take the arms overhead, drawing the shoulders together, but using the hands as leverage to try and deepen that fold. Again, the knees can still be bent, that's not a problem, but this just allows the back to find a bit more length. Release the hands and slowly unravel one vertebrae at a time as you come up to a mountain pose. The shoulders come down and around, away from the ears. Bring the hands together in a prayer at the heart. Keep the eyes closed for a moment. Find your breath. And we'll move into a sun salutation. Inhale and circle the arms up overhead, the palms meet. Exhale as you fold over. Inhale, find a flat back, spine is nice and long, gazing over the top of your yoga mat, straight legs if you can. Take an inhale, exhale, the palms come to the mat, step back with the left foot, followed by the right, and you're in a plank. Hold here for a moment, bring the knees to the ground if you need to. Engage the core, zip the belly button into your back. And then bring the knees to the ground and as you exhale with control, bring your chest all the way down to the mat. Inhale as you press through the hands and lift the back. So you're lifting the heart nice and long, baby cobra. Exhale as you fold back down, tuck the toes, press into the knees first of all and then lift the sit bones up and back into a downward facing dog. Walk out the feet for a moment, stretch out the hamstrings, and then slowly make your way to the top of the mat. When you get there, fold down, and inhale to rise all the way up, unraveling the spine, shoulders come back and down. Inhale, the arms come up and overhead, palms touch, Exhale, we fold all the way down. Inhale, lift the heart, find a flat back position. Exhale as you fold down, hands come to the mat, step back with the right foot, followed by the left. Hold a plank here. Bring the knees down if you need to, zip up the core. And with control, bend at the elbows and bring the heart all the way down to the mat. Untuck the toes, lift through the hands, let the chest rise high, find a back bend with your baby cobra. Exhale, the chest comes back down, 
press through the knees, lift the sit bones up and back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, rise the left leg high, three-legged dog. And exhale, step the left foot between the hands. Use your hands to help it there if you need to. Bring the sole of the right foot to the ground at a 90 degree angle. Left leg is bent, cartwheel the arms up to the T into a warrior two. Get your foundation first of all. Pressing the hands into an imaginary shelf, drawing the shoulders back towards each other, zipping the belly button in towards the spine, and with an inhale, straighten the left leg and lift the arms to a V, flying warrior. Exhale, come back to a warrior two. Inhale. Straighten the leg, lift the arms. Exhale, warrior two. One more time. Inhale, straighten everything. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lean forwards with the left hand, flip the palm to the ceiling. Bring the right hand to the back of your right thigh as you tip back and allow the left hand to fly overhead. Gazing towards the hand if you can. Reverse warrior, breathing here, maintaining a connection to the ground with every toe. Take one more inhale, exhale, come back to warrior two. Inhale, straighten the left leg, reach forwards with the left hand and bring the left hand down to the shin as the right arm comes up towards the sky. We're tilting the left hip underneath and stacking the right hip straight on top of it, drawing the right shoulder blade back behind you, as if we're trying to open up the heart and the body towards the sky. Gazing straight forwards or wrap at your right hand. Spine is nice and long in this triangle pose. Hold it here, keep breathing. Inhale as you rise back up, bend the left leg and find a warrior two. Cartwheel the hands to frame the left foot, come onto the toes of the back foot and step back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg high, three legged dog, and step the right foot between the hands. Bring the sole of the left foot down to the ground as you rise up into a warrior two. Holding it here as you find your position, get your correct alignment, pressing the hands into a shelf beneath you, drawing your shoulders back together. Take an inhale as you straighten that right leg and bring your arms to a V, flying warrior. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, warrior two. One more time. Inhale, flying warrior. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale to reach through the fingertips of the right hand. Flip the palm to the sky. Bring the palm of the left hand to the left thigh and tip backwards to bring the right hand up and overhead. Reverse warrior. Gazing up towards the right hand if you can. Breathing in, feeling the stretch. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Reach through the right hand, bring the palm to the right shin as the left hand comes up towards the sky. Gazing straight forwards or up at your left hand. Breathing into this triangle pose. Tucking the right hip underneath, pulling the left hip back behind you, pulling the left shoulder back and down, opening up the heart to the sky, finding space. 
Inhale to rise back up to warrior two, bending that front leg again. And then cartwheel the hands to frame the left foot and step into a war, step into a down facing dog, sorry. Well done. Take a breath here. Observe how the legs are feeling. Maybe they've woken up a little bit now. Inhale, come forward onto the toes and bring the knees down to the mat. Open up the knees as wide as your mat. Press the sit bones back onto the heels and bring the forehead down to the ground. Take a child's pose. Take the arms nice and long in front of you. Fingertips on your yoga mat or if you have blocks, place them on the blocks to lift them a little higher. Really feeling the length in your arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together and feeling your breath here, opening up the, the rib cage and the spine with every inhale. Bring the hands back down to the mat, push down to rise up, bring the knees back together, tuck the toes and with control, bring the chest all the way down to your mat. Press into the palms of the hands and lift the chest to take a cobra. Make sure that your heels have a little distance between them and the feet. Gives a bit more space in the lower spine. Try not to press too high here. You just want to open things up. Take an inhale and as you exhale, come all the way back down. This time, Lift your fingertips off of the mat so they're just hovering. And then lift your chest. So inhale and lift your chest. This will give you an indication of how much movement you have. Bring the hands back down and press through the fingertips. Try not to rise too high. Come all the way back down. Take your hands wide of your yoga mat and a little forward, maybe a palm forward. Press through the fingertips and rise up. Take straight arms. Keep the hips connected to the earth. The neck nice and long. But the gaze is straight forward. We're not trying to put any tension in the neck here by straining too much and compressing the joints in the neck. So gaze straight forwards, breathing into it, inhale, and as you exhale, come all the way back down. Bring the hands back close to your ribs, underneath of your chest, tuck the toes, press through the knees, send the hip bones back and then up, find your downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, lift the left leg high, step the foot through between the hands, come onto the sole of the right foot, cartwheel the arms, find your warrior two. Inhale, straighten the left leg, reach through the left arm, bring the palm of the hand to the shin, right arm comes up to the sky, triangle pose. Remember to stack the hips, Pull the right shoulder back behind you, press it into an imaginary wall. Keeping the left leg straight, inhale and rise up. Take the right hand to the back of the thigh, flip the left palm to the sky and tip back. Left arm comes up overhead, reverse triangle. Inhale, come back to centre, bend the left knee, take your warrior two. Take the hands down to the inside 
of the left foot, so towards the arch. Turn that left foot as you walk your hands towards the centre of the mat. So now both feet are facing the same direction, both facing forward. We're in a wide-legged straddle. Hang out here for a moment, nice and long. Bring the palms of the hands to the mat, if they reach, or to the fingertips. And if that's difficult for you, bring the hands to the shins. Take an inhale and allow the head to fold down towards the earth. Keeping the legs straight. Allow the weight of gravity to bring your head down. Spine nice and long. Inhale, find a flat back. Walk your hands towards your right foot. Pivot on the heel and turn that foot to face the back end of your mat. Bend in the right knee. Cartwheel the arms up so we're in a warrior two at the back of our mat. Get your alignment. Inhale, straighten the right leg, reach through the right fingertips, bring the right palm down to your shin as the left palm comes up towards the sky. Stacking the hips, bringing the left shoulder behind you, pressing into an imaginary wall, finding length in the spine. Inhale here, keeping the left leg straight, rise up, bring the left palm to the left thigh as the right hand comes up overhead for a reverse triangle. Inhale back to centre, bend the right knee, find a warrior two. Bring both palms down to the arch of the right foot and walk the hands back towards the centre of the mat as you pivot on the heel of that right foot and then once again turn both feet so you're in a wide-legged forward fold. Keep a flat back here, breathing in, stretching that spine out. Neck nice and long as well, crown reaching forwards. Take an inhale and then fold, allowing the head to fall towards the earth. Inhale to find a flat back. Walk the hands towards the left foot, turn on the heel to turn the left foot towards the top end of the mat and step the left foot back into a downward facing dog. With control, come forwards into a plank. Bring the knees to the ground if you need to, otherwise slowly bring the chest all the way down to the ground. Untuck the toes. Bring the arms down behind you, palms down, pressing into the mat. Inhale and lift your chest. Try lifting your arms. Exhale and come down. Allow your head to fall onto one ear, shaking the hips side to side. Turn the head onto the other ear. Continue shaking the hips, just shake it all off. And then this time, bring the head back to centre, clasp the hands together behind you. Inhale as you straighten your arms and use that as leverage to lift your chest. Bring the heels together and try lifting your knees. If this is too much, keep the legs on the ground. Breathing here. and exhale, release. Bring the hands underneath the forehead, shake out the hips side to side. 
and then slowly make your way onto your back. Bring the head down to the ground, bring the soles of the feet to the ground and bring your hands palm down onto your mat. Use your fingertips to search through the heels of your feet. Your feet should be hip width distance apart, but you should just be able to graze the backs of your heels, not grab them, but almost just tickle the skin. Press the hands into the mat and with an inhale, Press into your feet and lift the sit bones high. Start to tuck your shoulder blades underneath of you, really squeezing the shoulder blades tight. Press into the finger pads of the hands and keep the hips lifted high. Nice and even, pressing through the toes in both feet. and then bring everything back down. One more time, make sure your alignment hasn't moved, so just grazing the backs of your heels. Inhale as you press through the feet to lift the sit bones high, tuck in the shoulder blades underneath, maybe you clasp the hands together, have the arms nice and long, really stretching. And the more you lift your hips high, you should find that your chest starts to move in towards your chin. Your gaze is towards the ceiling. Inhaling. Keep breathing. See if you can lift a little higher with this last breath. And exhale. Release everything back to the mat. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Wrap your arms around them. Give them a hug. Rock from side to side, find a little massage for the back and the hips here. And then lift the legs high, soles of the feet towards the ceiling, so the feet are flexed. And just hang here for a moment. Allow gravity to put everything back where it's supposed to be in the hip sockets. You can try grabbing at the shins or the calves or maybe you can reach your toes. And if you can, use your feet to point the toes away and just to stretch the shoulder blades a little. It helps to round through the shoulders and create space in the back. Take the outer edges of each foot with each hand, bend the knees in towards the armpits and then separate the feet apart. So we're in a happy baby pose here. Soles of the feet still face the ceiling. Just take a rock left to right. Feel how that is working the lower back. Maybe try straightening one leg if that feels good and then the other. Otherwise, just rocking it out here. And then when you're ready, take the legs out long. Hands rest on the mat or maybe on your belly, closing the eyes as we move into a short Shavasana. Thinking about how the body feels after this practice, giving yourself thanks for taking this time, giving yourself thanks for the awareness that you have about how you feel, having the mindfulness to know that you're struggling with some back pain at the moment and that you're able to take this time for yourself for a bit of healing. Come back to your breath, just thinking about inhaling and exhaling, and maybe take that with you through the rest of your day. If you notice a slight shortness of breath or a bit of tightness, have some awareness that that's probably that your back is still a little tight, and that you should just take it a bit easier as you move through the rest of the day or the rest of the week. Stay here if you can for another five or ten minutes, just 
try to soften and quieten any thoughts that come to you and just allow yourself to be in this moment with your breath slowing everything down, giving yourself this time that you need. And if you're coming up with me, then give your fingers and toes a little wriggle, reintroduce a bit of movement and a bit of life. Maybe take one big inhale, maybe the biggest that you've taken so far today, and exhale it audibly through your mouth. with your eyes closed, take a nice smile, allow the corners of the mouth to lift and slowly roll onto one side. Use your hand to press into the floor to help you to lift up. Again, giving yourself gratitude for taking the time to practice today.